Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, it's me, Randy, and my friend on the other side, Venkat. So we're going to talk about 10 ways to save money on groceries because people spend a lot of money on groceries for no reason. So we're going to give you some pointers, 10 basic, very simple points, and here we are. I'll go with the first one and we'll just uh, chime in uh, uh, whenever and cook food at home. Guys, uh, I always said I'm a big time fan of going out and eat, but I saved a lot of money, especially I realized that during the quarantine time, cook food at home. That saves a lot of money because you have no idea how much you're going to spend if you eat out. You have to, you have to add the uh, tip and it's a tax, sales tax, this tax, that tax, that, that's not going to work. So eat, sorry, cook food at home and learn to cook. It's easy, right? So quick meals, have fun at it. Uh, buy fresh fruit uh, when seasoned uh, because there are some food that are specifically for certain seasons. So why not you buy in bulk, freeze them and use it later. Uh, and if you're not going to freeze, then don't buy in bulk, right? Sometimes uh, sometimes people do it. They're, they're not planning on freezing, so, but still they're buying bulk. There's no point. Is it your, your money is wasted, your, your, your food is wasted. And uh, so that's another point. And uh, I learned this trick from Venkat, my friend. Uh, shop at Aldi, guys. All the uh, grocery chain has a lot of great quality. And they are worldwide, even in Australia. They're in Australia. Oh, they know. okay. That I yeah. didn't know. So there you go. So it's not in the United States. And shop at Aldi. And I don't know. Some people don't prefer Walmart. I'm I'm a fan. I'm, both of us, I know, we we are big fans of uh, Walmart. And they have the same food that you buy at uh, Harris Teeter for like extra two dollars, even food line. But you can still get the same food at Walmart. All the tra uh, trade Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is, a, is Trader a, Joe's, also yeah. another great great option. So keep those. Uh, in mind and heat up leftover food and create a medley you know what we do like you open up the fridge and you see like a lot of leftovers right you intend to use that later but you really don't use them and after some time you're just gonna throw them away so you're wasting your food you're wasting your money again guys put them together i know i learned that trick from my friend too uh, i was not paying a lot of attention about a couple of years ago and we did it fantastic me and my wife started doing it fantastic because again guys don't waste food because there are so many people in this world who don't have anything to eat. So think about that. Whenever you see leftovers, take them on, put it on a whatever, put them together, mix it with some onion, some you know spices here and there, and you can make it a nice, very cozy meal. Uh, and reduce grocery wastage. You know, it, again, it's the same thing. Like connected to what I just said, uh, you you have to you have to have a plan. Like if you want to buy in bulk buy like if you if you have a plan to freeze buy in bulk but if not don't go for that so that's a waste of uh groceries so that you're wasting money again and and you're you're wasting someone else's food too because you're taking someone else or some, someone else could have easily bought it and and use them uh for their own usage quick five points from me and i'll leave the rest to Venkat, uh who will have some more points yeah uh, actually the one thing that i uh i always hate uh, wasting food that's a big thing that I don't know. It just, uh, uh, I've seen people eat. Feels a lot of anger. <laughs> yeah. People eating from the trash uh, area. I've yeah. seen those people uh, in develop, developing countries in India, maybe other countries, they are doing it in Africa and all, right? Uh, so I've seen those people and it's so uh, bothering me. Like in, in US or other countries, 30% of the food is wasted. Oh, man. Just throw out 30% of the food. Uh, like, think about it. It's, it's a billion dollar of food they're just throwing out in the trash. Yeah. But anyway, I don't want to digress, digress yeah, from. Yeah, no, that's true. Good point. Sixth point uh, is like uh, packing lunch. Uh, most people, I prefer to take some kind of sandwich uh, when I travel, right? Drive around. Uh, so you don't have to look for, you know, it's very hard. Like, sometimes you have to look for the specific restaurant, specific yeah. one, and exit. You know, it's, it's just really hard. So I just pack something up. Uh, so that's what you guys should do. Pack lunch and then, you know, even yeah. if you're going for three, two, three hours of drive, uh, always try to, you know, get some sandwiches. Uh, that, that's and that's exactly what I did. Like in North Carolina to Maryland, like there was six hours, six hour drive. We never stopped. Like we used to stop at one point, like rarely. But what we do is we put something together, like a sandwich or a roti. If you're a South Asian, you know what, what I mean? Easy peasy, you know, you save money. Exactly. Yeah. That's that actually saves almost like $10, $20 uh, every time. Like, if you're yeah, every, driving with a family, of course. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> that's adds up guys. Like every dollar adds yeah. up. That's what I noticed. Like 
I save here and there, and then I add everything up. It's like almost thousand yep. dollars. So that's a big deal there. And the next one is the uh, if you go to a restaurant, I I wouldn't advise like to go to a restaurant every time. Like maybe once a month, you can treat yourself, uh, your family maybe. But if you're going there. Uh, ask them, you know, if you pay by cash, can you uh, reduce, you know, sometimes they have a 10%, 20% discount. Mm -hmm. Think about it, you have a $100 bill, it's $10 off. Um, because they have to pay the credit card companies 3 4%, they always right. have less, uh, right. they right. like to have cash. So just pay by cash, you, you save a lot of money there. You, you have to ask them sometimes. And the next one is the, you know, coffee is the biggest expense. Uh, I know Starbucks is around a long, yeah. long time. And people always go there and they get addicted to it. Sometimes it's a easiness and some, you know, that's why they, ha they have it. But you can make the same coffee for 20 cents, uh, even less than that, maybe 10 cents, if you do it yeah. right. Uh, that is what you should buy a thermos. It's around three, four dollars. It doesn't cost you the, less than a coffee price in Starbucks, right? right. Just buy it. Uh, and then uh, you can use it multiple times. You can actually make, so many different kinds of coffee. I actually make right now at least like 10 different way, you know, variety of coffees right. uh, that I really love, uh, you know, doing that kind of thing. So you will save a lot of money there around thousand dollar a year, more than thousand dollar if you're a regular coffee drinker. And one thing to add, we can not just coffee. And I know people, uh, people are addicted to some of these smoothie places, you know, you easily spend six to seven dollars for no reason. But mm -hmm. like we discussed early part of our, our, our channel, we talked about preparing your own smoothie, like with, with organic avocado, organic uh, banana, strawberries and everything. You know, it's, it's easy peasy. All, you only need a little bit of everything there. And every day it's, it's an organic uh, fruit juice uh, for, for literally like, you know, two, two dollars maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my next point. Actually, you, if you buy in bulk, like Costco, we buy everything in Costco, right? We buy in bulk when we did calculations, we are only spending like around hundred dollar a month. Uh, yeah. The groceries, right? Just the grocery stuff from Costco, mostly from Costco and some from, you know, uh, local Aldi. Right. Um, and when we add up, like when we buy bulk, we actually save a lot of money. Also, we are freezing those things. Yeah. We are buying in bulk when it's on sale. Like there is, there are food always on sale. It's also in bulk and it's going to save you more, you know, you're double dipping that. Right. And then you're freezing them. Uh, we have a deep freezer in the garage. It, it's only cost around $150, $160, but it saved probably more than $500, $600 right. last a few months. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, yeah. that's, a, that's a lot of savings there. And that's what we do. Cook, cook, you know, buy, cook in bulk, we cook in, buy in bulk, cook in bulk, and then we freeze them freeze in it. bulk. So, uh, and the last point I just wanted to make this, you know, uh, Again, like if you are go, going out to eat restaurant, reduce that uh, you know, amount of frequency of going out, eating out, right? Uh, if you really want to eat out, uh, if you really wanted to go, there is a trick to it, right? You go for lunch buffet, uh, at lunchtime. It's lunchtime is there are so many people coming, again, demand and supply, right? Uh, there's more, there'll be more, um, you know, more people going in because of that, the price is less. Uh, lunch price, if you go anywhere, lunch price is less. So go yeah. and enjoy your meal during the lunch time. Don't go on <laughs> dinner time. You'll be spending double the amount for the same food. Yeah. Uh, right. So the whole thing, if you guys do this, you're going to save uh, thousands of dollars in a year uh, time frame, right? Uh, yeah. And, and if you take this in isolation, yes, it might not save a lot of money. But do that, do all this together. Like you said, you, you, you'll be able to save a lot of money at the end of the year. Yeah, you can come back and thank us, guys. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> thank you. All right, Bye.